Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Tom and today I want to talk about my thoughts on the Huawei Honor 8 camera mode. As my LG G5 died a few days ago, I was looking for a well-priced smartphone which is capable of taking good pictures. I found the Huawei Honor 8 with its 12 megapixel dual camera for about 340 euros. Is this a very good camera for a reasonable price? Let's find out. As said before, the Honor 8 offers a 12 megapixel dual camera, one with a color sensor and one with a monochrome sensor. This setup should offer better details and less noise when you capture photos. The focus is set with the laser autofocus and the dual LED flash provides enough light in dark conditions. The lenses offer a focal length of about 27mm and a maximum aperture of f2.2. The front camera is an 8MP chip with an f2.4 lens. In terms of video, Huawei sadly decides to not implement a 4K mode. You can shoot in 1080p at 60fps at the maximum, but more on that later. When you open the camera app, you will be greeted by a live view feed from what the camera sees. At the top or left in the horizontal mode, you find the icons for the flash, the wide aperture mode, the filters and the flip to front camera symbol. At the bottom or right in the horizontal mode, you find the icon to review your just taken picture, your shutter button and the movie mode button. With a swipe gesture from the right to the left, you enter the settings mode where you can change your resolution, GPS on off, assistive grid, timer, audio control, object tracking autofocus, etc. As well as image adjustments where you can configure saturation, contrast and brightness. With the swipe gesture on the main screen from the left to the right, you enter the modes menu where you can set diverse shooting modes. Like HDR mode, night shoot mode, light painting mode, time lapse mode and so on. The app is very intuitive to use, therefore I had no trouble setting it up. Taking pictures is easy. Just hit the shutter button, the camera focuses automatically and takes the picture. In auto mode they look really good, but using the app in pro mode, where you can set up your settings manually, you can achieve even better pictures. In the pro photo mode you can set your metering mode, ISO, shutter speed, exposure compensation, autofocus mode and white balance. You will see every change you make directly in the live view picture. Sadly I found no option to capture RAW. And of course in Pro mode you don't have access to the wide departure mode or the filters. They are only available in the normal photo mode. As said before, in the automatic mode you can access the color filters. These offer 3 monochrome settings and 5 color settings. I would not recommend to use them, take the picture in original mode and adjust them in post processing. There are also plenty of filters and you have more room to play with the pictures. One of my favorite features of the Honor 8 camera app is the wide departure mode. I also call it bokeh mode, where the software of the camera creates a shallow depth of field like when you shoot with a DSLR and a fast lens. Especially when you want to capture details, this mode is capable of producing very nice pictures. You can set the simulated aperture from f0.95 to f16.
In this mode you also have the opportunity of post focus. Open the picture you took in the wide aperture mode in the gallery, they are marked with an aperture symbol and you can set the focus point wherever you want. The Huawei Honor 8 also offers a lot of customization options to edit your pictures. Just select the picture in the gallery and use the edit options. The important options are rotate, crop, filter, adjust and maybe watermark and label. Also there are plenty of gimmicky options like graffiti, mosaic and splash, but in my opinion those options are not useful. Because the rotate and crop options are self-explaining, let's talk about the filters. You have plenty of choices here, that's why I mentioned not to shoot with one of the few available filters in the shooting mode. The filters are separated in a few categories, Mono, Nostalgia, Shadow, Classic, Paint, Weather, Feminine and Photo Filter. To use them just browse through and choose one that you like. Save the picture and it's done. Of course you can also adjust the newly saved filtered images in the adjust mode. In the adjust mode you can set brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, highlights, shadows, hue and black and white filters to create a picture that you're satisfied with. Using these settings is also very easy, just click on them and adjust via swiping the adjustment bar until you like the outcome. The pictures that this 12 megapixel dual camera produces are really good. The colors are very natural, there are plenty of details in the pictures, the sharpness is very good and at low ISOs the pictures show very low noise. Of course the higher the ISO gets, the more noise appears, but also in lower light you can produce nice pictures, even more when using the manual mode to fine tune the settings for a lower ISO number. One last thing worth mentioning about the photo mode is the panorama mode. It works very easily, just select panorama and you get the panorama overlay. You can switch from horizontal to vertical mode. For taking the panorama, hit the shutter button and pan the smartphone in the shown direction. You can see how the panorama is put together. If you don't want to use the full possible length of the panorama, just hit the shutter button again and the record will be stopped and the picture saved. The quality of the produced pictures is really good. Of course, the Honor 8 also offers a video mode, but as this is the budget smartphone from Huawei, it is a bit downgraded. You can only shoot in full HD 1080p at 60fps as a maximum. The bitrate is about 34 megabits per second. The modes you have access to are the normal video mode, the pro video mode, where you can change your settings like metering mode, exposure compensation, autofocus mode and white balance. And like in the photo mode, you can also activate beauty video, which does the same as with the photos, it smoothens all out. The Honor 8 also offers a slow motion mode, which creates videos at 720p at 120 frames per second. The video quality is not the best, it's usable to document things, but that's all. The colors are good, but it lacks sharpness and there is visible more ray to see.
For stills, the Huawei Honor 8 is a great choice. The 12 megapixel dual camera produces sharp pictures with good contrast and little noise. Moreover, the possibilities you have in the manual mode or with the wide aperture mode are great for your creativity. The options out of the box are very good for enhancing the pictures. I can totally recommend the smartphone for using it as a photography tool. If the video mode is also of importance to you, you will sadly be disappointed. The lack of 4K and the average quality of the 1080p 60fps mode is a letdown. You can use it anyway to document things, but if video is one of your priorities, you should consider another smartphone. I hope my review of the photo and video modes of the Huawei Honor 8 was useful to you when you are on the search for a reasonably priced smartphone with taking photos in mind. When you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button or the thumbs down if you don't. Also please subscribe for more videos to come. See you next time.